بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ويلكم تو ماي يوتيوب قناه كالكولس اند ماتيماتكس ليرنينج ان ذا بريفيس فيديو وي سارد كويستشن نمبر 4 ذا لاست كويستشن اوف ايكسرسايز نمبر 3.1 ريليتد ويت تشابتر نمبر 3 هاي اور ذا ويتو اند ابليكيشن ذير كويستشن واز فيري امبورتنت ان توداي فيديو وي ار جوينغ تو سارد كويستشن نمبر 3 ريليتد ويت ذا سيم ايكسرسايز ايكسرسايز نمبر 3.1 ات تيلز ذير تو يوز امبليسيت رول تو فايند اوت سيكند ديريفيت اوف ذا فالوينغ فانكشنز توتال 6 بارت ان ذس كويستشن نمبر 3 First part is y is equal to x plus tangent inverse y. Remember, in implicit function, the variable is on one side and the constant on the another side of the equation. Over here, y is variable, x is variable, and y is also variable. So it means that we will uh, make the equation just like this. Then shift the variable to one side and constant on the another side. So these both variables will be shifted to the left hand side. Of, so it becomes a uh, y minus x minus tangent inverse y will be equal to zero. Now differentiate both sides with respect to x. So, so the derivative of y will be dy by dx. So minus derivative of x with respect to x is 1. Minus time of tangent in what's y derivative is 1 over 1 plus y square. And derivative of the inner function y is dy by dx. So will be equal to derivative of 0 is 0. Now after this, so take out dy by dx common from over here. So it become dy by dx. So inside we are left with 1 over. And over here we are left with minus time of 1 plus o, 1 over 1 plus y square and shift minus 1 to the right hand side so it becomes o, just 1. Now what are this? So the dy by dx will be equal to over here if I take a LCM so it becomes o, 1 plus y square divided by 1 plus o, y square. So it becomes o, 1 plus y square. Uh, over here first we simplify it so it becomes o, 1 plus y square minus 1 if it gives us y square. Because 1 is cancelled with negative, we are left with y square over 1 plus o, y square is equal to 1. Now the dy by dx will be equal to divided with y square over 1 plus y square. So it becomes 1 over y square divided by 1 plus y square. So the whole derivative will be dy by dx will be 1 plus y square divided by y square. Now after this, so again differentiate this function because that is their second derivative. So it becomes a d square y by dx square will be using quotient rule. So first function and derivative of this function is 2y and derivative of the other function will be y dash. y dash is actually dy by dx. Minus time of 1 plus y square and derivative of this function will be 2y and y ratio. Divided by second function whole square so it becomes y power 4. So our d square y by dx square will be it will give us a value 2 into y cube and uh, y ratio. Minus time of 2y y ratio and it will give us minus of 2y cube of y ratio. 1 multiply 2y y ratio minus 2y y ratio minus y square and 2y so it will give us minus 2y cube y ratio. So 2y cube y ratio cancel with negative y cube y ratio and in the denominator we are left with y power 4. So our d square y by dx square will be minus of 2 into y ratio. This y is cancelled with uh, 1y, so in the denominator we are left with y cube. Now put in the value of y dash. y dash is actually our dy by dx, which is 1 plus y square by y square. So it becomes a minus 2 times of 1 plus y square divided by y square divided by y cube. So it becomes a minus 2 times of 1 plus y square. This y square will shift to the denominator, it becomes y raised to the power 5. So this is actually the second time derivative. Move to the next part, part number b, x square plus y square is equal to r square. Over here two variables, first variable is x, second variable is y and r is a constant. Differentiate both sides with respect to x, so x square derivative will be 2x, y square derivative will be 2y and the inner function derivative is y ratio. Will be equal to r as a constant and derivative is 0. Now after this, I'll shift 2x to the right hand side, so it becomes a 2y y ratio on the right hand side it will becomes negative 2 x 2 is cancelled with 2 so our y ratio is actually minus x divided by y this is actually the first time derivative for the second time derivative it becomes a y double prime will be equal to the second function and derivative of the first function is minus 1 minus time of first function minus x and derivative of this function is y ratio divided by the second function square so after this our y ratio will be equal to the minus y and after this so it will give us plus o, plus x so y ratio divided by y square 
Now for the next video, up y ratio, so our y double ratio will be minus y plus x, so multiply y ratio. Y ratio is minus x by y, minus x divided by y, divided by y square. So by simplification, it becomes y double ratio will be minus y. That will give us minus so x square divided by y, whole divided by y square. So in numerator, by taking LCM, over here a pi multiply, so it becomes a minus y square minus x square divided by y. In the numerator, minus y square by y gives us minus y, minus x square by y gives us again minus x square by y, divided by y square, this y square. Now after this, it becomes a y double h will be take out minus common, it becomes x square plus y square divided by y, it becomes a 1 over y square. So it becomes y double h will be minus time of x square plus y square divided by y square multiply y will give us a really y cube. This is the required second time derivative. Now move to the next part, part number c y square minus 2xy is equal to 0. Find second order derivative of this function. y square derivative will be 2y and the inner function derivative is y ratio minus 2 time half over here this two function will multiply so use product rule of differentiation first function derivative of the second function is y h plus second function y and derivative of this function is just 1 will be equal to 0 so it becomes a 2y y ratio minus 2x y ratio minus 2y is equal to 0 now from uh, over here divide both whole equation with 2 so it becomes y y ratio minus x y ratio and minus y is equal to 0 from over here take out uh, y ratio common so inside uh, we are left with y minus x so and shift negative y to right inside it becomes positive y so after this it becomes y ratio will be y divided by y minus of x so this is first time derivative for second time derivative, derivative use product rule of the uh, quotient rule second function y minus x so and the first function derivative will be y ratio minus time of second function y and derivative of this function will be derivative of y is y ratio and derivative of x is negative 1 divided by second function y minus x whole square so after this it becomes a y double ratio will be y y ratio minus x y ratio minus y y ratio and plus of y divided by y minus x so whole square y y ratio cancel out with negative y y ratio from over here y double ratio will be negative x so multiply y ratio y ratio is y by y minus x so y by y minus so x so and plus so y whole divided by y minus x so whole square now over here i multiply and divide with y minus x so so the lcm in the numerator will be y minus x so so we are left with minus x y and over here plus of y into y minus x o and this y minus x will multiply with y minus x so it becomes y minus x o whole cube so this is actually our required second time derivative now move to our part number video x square by a square plus y square by b square minus 1 is equal to 0 this is an explicit function first we reduce it into x implicit function so x square by a square plus y square by b square shift next constant to the right hand side so it becomes a implicit function this is a implicit function now differentiate with respect to x 1 where a square is a uh, constant and derivative of x square is 2x so, divided by a square plus derivative of y square will be 2y y ratio because b square is a constant is equal to derivative of a constant is 0 now shift 2x by a square to the right hand side so it becomes a 2y y ratio by b square will be equal to the negative 2x by a square 2 is cancelled with 2 so our y ratio will be minus so this b square will come over here so it becomes a minus b square over x this y will come to the denominator on the right hand side so it becomes a a square into y this is first time derivative for second time derivative use generalized uh, quotient rule second function a square y and derivative of this function will be minus b square is a constant derivative of x is a 1 so it becomes a minus b square and after this of minus into minus because minus is a formula and this minus it will give us plus of b square x of and derivative of this a square y will be a square y ratio whole divided by a square y ratio whole square so it will give us a power 4 and y square 
Now after simplification, y divided by h will be minus a square b square y plus a square b square x o and our y dash is minus b square x o minus b square x divided by a square y whole divided by a power 4 y square so our y divided by h will be over here a square is cancelled with a square and uh, there is no further cancelling so minus a square b square y plus plus minus gives us minus b square b square gives us b power 4 x multiply s gives us x square divided by y also multiply and divide y over here so it becomes y square by y and whole divided by a power 4 y square so our y double h will be minus a square b square y square minus b power 4 x square divided by y we comes to the denominator it becomes a power 4 and y raised to the power 3 so this is the required second time derivative now move to the fifth part of part number e of secant x multiply cos of, uh, cos of y is equal to c over here two functions are multiplied with each other secant x and cos y in the right hand side we have a constant so over here we will use product rule of differentiation first function derivative of the second function is minus sine y and the inner function derivative is y ratio plus second function cos of y derivative of the first function is secant x and tangent x so will be equal to derivative of a constant c is zero shift uh, this whole term to the right hand side so on this side we are left with minus sine y secant x of y ratio and on the right hand side we are left with minus cos of y secant x of and tangent x of negative is cancelled with negative and divide both sides with sine y secant x of sine y and uh, secant x sine y cancelled with sine y secant x secant x secant x cancelled with secant x on this side we are left with y ratio is equal to cos y by sine y gives us cotangent y and we are left with tangent x so this is first time derivative for the second time derivative we will use product rule first function cotangent y derivative of the second function is secant square x plus second function tangent x so and derivative of the first function is negative cosecant square y and derivative of the inner function will be y ratio now after this a becomes a y double dash will be equal to cotangent y into secant square x is 1 plus tangent square x actually this is a formula plus tangent x and minus if it gives us minus tangent x so cosecant square y and y dash is cotangent y and tangent x so cotangent y and tangent x so so it becomes y double dash will be cotangent y plus cotangent y tangent square x so and it becomes a minus time of tangent x so cosecant square y and y raise cotangent y to tangent x so it becomes minus tangent x so minus tangent x and tangent x it will use as tangent square x so cosecant square y and cotangent y now after this so it becomes a cotangent y so it becomes y double dash will be equal to cotangent y and plus o cotangent y tangent square x o minus tangent square x o remember cosecant square y will be equal to 1 plus o cotangent square y into cotangent y so y double dash will be equal to cotangent y plus cotangent y tangent square x o it becomes negative tangent square x cotangent y and minus tangent square x and cotangent uh, cube y minus tangent square x o and cotangent cube y after this so cotangent y negative tangent square x cancelled with cotangent y tangent square x o so over here y double dash will be cotangent y can be written as tangent square y divided by tangent cube y because it will give us one word tangent y and one word tangent y is cotangent y minus of tangent square x o cotangent cube y can be written as one word uh, tangent cube y so taking lcm tangent cube y so in numerator we are left with tangent square y and minus tangent square x o this is the required second time derivative Move to the last part of our today's lecture in question number 3 part number f e raised to power x plus x equal e power y plus y find derivative remember 
we will shift all, uh, all the variable on one side, this variable will shift to the uh, left hand side, it becomes e power x. It, it, here it is e power y, so by shifting to the left hand side, it becomes negative e power y plus x so minus y will be equal to 0. Differentiate with respect to x, so it becomes e power x so minus e power y, derivative of y will be y ratio plus 1 oh, and minus y dash will be equal to 0. Shift e power x and plus 1 on the right hand side. So on this side, oh, we will take out y dash common. We are left with minus e power y and minus time of 1 oh, and e power negative e power x oh, and uh, minus 1. So y dash will be cancelling minus sign. So it becomes e power x oh, plus 1 over e power y and plus oh, 1. This is actually y dash. For second time derivative, second function e power y plus 1. And the derivative of this function is e power x minus this function e power x plus 1. And the derivative of this function is e power y and y dash divided by this function whole square e power y plus 1 whole square. So our y dash will be e power, it becomes base the same, so it becomes e power x plus y and uh, plus of e power x uh, minus time of uh, e power x plus y and y dash. Uh, and uh, minus time of e power y and y dash e power x plus y y dash and minus time of e power y y dash divided by e power y plus 1 whole square so our y double dash will be e power x plus y plus e power x minus e power x plus y dot y double dash y dash is e power x plus 1 e power x plus 1 divided by e power 1 is not in the power, e power x plus 1 divided by e power y and plus 1 minus e power y dot e y dash is e power x plus 1 and uh, divided by e power y plus 1 and whole divided by y e power y plus 1 whole square. Now after this, uh, we can simplify it very easily. So it becomes y double dash will be e power x plus y plus e power x. So from over here, take out e power x plus 1 and e power y plus 1 take out common. So inside we are left with also take out minus common. So we are left with e power x plus y and plus e power y. And uh, whole divided by e power y plus 1 whole square. Now after this, so you can simplify it very easily by taking LCM in the numerator and shift that denominator, the numerator to the uh, denominator. That will be actually our required second time derivative. So with this question, I finish my lecture. Thank you for watching. Subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon to receive the upcoming notification about uh, upcoming exercises of chapter number three. Thank you.